Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today for an overview of Sage Intact Multi Currency. My name is Linda Pinion, and I'll be your host. Before we get into the solution presentation, I want to cover our agenda. We're going to start out today by looking at some of the challenges of multi currency accounting. Within the solution presentation, uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about what you'll see there and then finish up by covering some key takeaways. Today, if you are an, a company or organization that is using Sage Intact in a domestic role and maybe you're looking to go global or perhaps you've already gone global, uh, multi-currency accounting is one of the biggest administrative challenges. And in when I think about, you know, why is this so inefficient, it's really around two areas. It's around keeping track of those currencies, which if you are not uh, doing this automatically, if you're doing this manually, then it is a lot of time and effort in order to keep track of the different currencies. And as we all know, any time that we do something manually, we run the risk of making mistakes. That's just part of what comes with that. And any time we make mistakes, it causes us inefficiencies in our time. And in this case, can also produce inaccurate reporting. So what you're going to see today is a solution from Sage Intact that is going to allow you to move to a multi-currency accounting solution that's very easy to set up and configure. I'll show you the steps that you would go through to do that. And literally, it takes minutes, not hours or days. The screens that you will be using uh, that will incorporate the base currency and the transaction currency are very simple and straightforward. So your data entry people uh, will not need to get uh, extensive education on how to utilize these new screens. And then of course, you know, one of the things that is also a plus here is the predefined reporting in accounts receivable and accounts payable. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. And I'm going to start out here by just focusing for a moment on the dashboard. And as all of you know, you know, the dashboard is your view into how your business or organization is tracking. So I have a consolidated dashboard here that's showing you a profit and loss that is a, considered a global statement, if you will. And you can see that I have several different entities that I am consolidating. So just to be clear, when I execute these reports and, and go into the detail and do the drill down into the information, I'm able to see uh, all of the, the currency and the translation of that currency. So this is important for you to know that once you turn on multi-currency, you're going to be able to see these types of general ledger reports where you have the transaction amount and you have the currency showing. And here you can see that it is in euro. And then we have, of course, the translation into U.S. dollars. So, so this gives you that view in the general ledger as well. So to start out with, um, one of the things that I want to say is that multi-currency is a choice. So it's something that you do subscribe to. So once you're ready to do um, that subscription, you'd want to uh, contact your Sage Intact representative. If we look at how we set up our entities, and this should not be anything that's new to you because you would have already set up entities in your current environment. But let's take a look at an entity in my environment that is my entity for Germany. And one of the things that you may remember, uh, it may have been a while since you set up an entity, is that when you set up the entity, 
you are going to indicate the base currency. And you'll notice that that is a, a drop down. So here again, you've got the choice to apply that correct base currency to the entity. So that's kind of step one. And then uh, there are a couple of other things that I want to share with you as well. Uh, one is the exchange rate types. So you can have different types of exchange rates. Uh, we'll talk about that again when we look at our AP entry screen. But you can set up an average, a daily, and a monthly, and those can be different exchange rate types for you. And then the last um, piece to this is the transaction currencies. And you'll notice that I have several different currencies here. We're going to be working with the euro. So if we look at that, here's the information, you know, the currency code and how we're naming it, um, how we want that format to look, uh, the currency symbol. So just some basic information through setup that we want to make sure that we get. Now, important to know is that when we look at the exchange rate, when we're keying in a transaction, we're utilizing a table from OANDA. And OANDA is a provider of exchange rates. You may be familiar with OANDA. You may, in fact, be using OANDA today to get those rates. We have that OANDA rate table loaded in, if you will. So what will happen is when you key in a transaction, it will go out and it will look at that table and it will pull that rate in and consider that to be the intact daily rate. So you won't have to fumble around to try to get that rate. That's part of that automation. So let's go take a look at an accounts payable bill that is in fact one that has been entered and in this case has been paid. But you'll notice that there's a transaction currency of US dollars and there is a base currency of Euro and you can see the base amount. But let's take a look at that screen and then we'll go in and transact one as if we were adding one so you can see how that immediately pops up. So again, just looking at the AP bill and coming down to this currency box, which will be a box that will populate based on the fact that you have initiated and subscribed to multi-currency. So we have a transaction currency, we have a base currency, we have an exchange rate date, and we have an exchange rate type, along with the exchange rate that it's pulled in. So now when you look at the transaction line, you see the transaction amount, and you also see the base amount. So this gives you that view of both US dollars and Euro. It's important to recognize that when this bill is entered and posted, we're keeping track of all this information so that when we start looking at the revaluation reports, we have all the data that we need. And speaking of those reports, we'll get to those in just a moment, but let's go in and look at adding a bill. And we don't even need to add all the information here to see what's coming up here as default. So we've put in Aberdeen as our vendor. It's already populated our transaction currency as US dollars. We now have that drop down. We can select our base currency and again, We've, we've now populated information into the rate date, so it's defaulted to today's date. It's pulled that as the intact daily rate, and it's given us the exchange rate. The minute that we put in our amount, it's going to automatically calculate based on the exchange rate to give us that base amount. So that's how easy it is once you have that multi-currency turned on to see that transaction and base amount. Additionally, we talked a little bit about some reports. So let's take a look at the AP open item report and let's put in some information here, some parameter information that will allow us to see this report. And this is a standard report, one that's already been created for you in Sage Intact. 
So here in AP, you have an open items revaluation report. And basically what you're seeing is the transaction currency and amount, and then you're seeing uh, the base amount. You see that exchange rate. Uh, you see the revaluation exchange rate, and this calculates out either your unrealized gain or loss. So this is a report, again, that has already been configured for you. It's one of the standard reports in AP. On the AR side, we have the same type of reporting. So again, let's put in uh, some parameter information here. And of course, any of these reports could be added directly to your dashboard. If you chose to have them on the dashboard, you could certainly do that. So this one's got a few more transactions in it. Same concept here where, you know, we're showing you the transactions. We're giving you the base amount, the transaction amount, and then we are calculating out the unrealized gain, unrealized loss. So again, two reports. You could certainly create other reports if you chose to using the custom report writer, but these are ones that are standard. So let's come back to our presentation and do a quick summary. <clears throat> One of the things that I wanted you to notice today was how easy it was to set this up. It's a matter of configuration. It's going to take you minutes, not months, or uh, days, weeks to do this. And one of the benefits that you will see from utilizing this in a cloud-based solution like Sage Intact is that not only does it make the process easier, it makes it more efficient and it also makes it more secure. If you're moving from domestic to global, this is something that you are uh, thinking about doing, you're already using the best financial management solution on the planet, and certainly being in cloud makes it more secure, and we've just now given you another benefit that you can do this in minutes, not days. It's also going to eliminate you having to manage the fluctuation of those rates. As I mentioned before, we use OANDA to get those rates, so you always have up-to-date, real exchange rates coming in right at the transaction level, as you saw when I added that AP bill. It's also going to provide you the visibility to those transaction details. So you saw two standard reports that we've already created for you. You can also see that information when you drill into the AP bill or the AR side. So you'll have the information that you need through reporting. And of course, you can create more reports using the custom report writer if you need a different format or a different view. Should you have other questions about multi-currency in Sage Intact, please let us know. We'd love to talk to you more about multi-currency and how easy it is when you use Sage Intact. Thank you so much.